Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Greta. And wow, there are so many new releases, it's insane. I think it's also just I'm more aware of them all, especially after going to Milan, plus some other influencers going there that were just a little bit more aware of all these releases. Plus they did release more this year that it's just, wow, so overwhelming. And I've been trying to tell you about all the good ones out there and plus just try some. So today I do have a bunch of new releases that I want to share with you that I have bottles and really like. And then I also have a couple samples of some other ones that I want to try and check out with you. And since it's been one of those days, we all have those days, um, I'm going to be sipping some rosé while we do this because it has just been one of those days. It's like insane. I've been trying to sit down and film for a couple hours now. It's just like, welcome to the house of chaos. It's just, it's just, yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. And everyone has that relative, whether it's a child or a parent or whatever, that drives them batty. Like, just the one that knows how to get to you, right? Like, loving the pieces, loving the pieces. But yeah, yeah, like, Lord, give me strength. But anyway, I'm going to relax with you, sip on my wine, and talk about these new releases. So let's get to it. Okay, the first one, let me do this real quick because I already told you about Tonka Cola. So I just want to give you a more complete picture since I got to try it a little more. Um, this one, now there is a strong cinnamon at the beginning of this. You do have to like cinnamon. People that like red tobacco that has a strong cinnamon at the beginning are going to love this. I know so many people that love red tobacco. I struggle with that opening of cinnamon. Then it dries down to the most incredible, creamy. Labdenum always kind of like just gives me a little bit of bite to a fragrance, like chewiness, like density. When I say bite, like al dente, right? Like um, it's just incredible. You do need to get to the cinnamon. So to me, it's a hybrid of like red tobacco with that opening and then the cola, an obvious cola in this especially prominent in the beginning um, and that kind of stays with it kind of turns from cola to like vanilla cola so a lot of people kind of compare the cola note in enigma i find it much more prominent in here than in enigma but i see that kind of hybrid and then angel share which i loved when that first came out and i just can't like get myself to love angel share anymore but that also is like cinnamon bun and has that cinnamon aspect. But this really is that cinnamon opening, which does pass. So just deal with that. And then the other thing is, sorry, so the cinnamon opening and then goes down into this gorgeous, rich, thick, creamy, cola, like vanilla Coke kind of a thing. It is really good and it fills a room. Um, I think it smells way better from a distance in the air than sniffing your skin. It's very overwhelming if you sniff your skin and you're gonna be like, I don't like it. But when you smell the air around you and especially if you're moving your arm, it is to die for. I think that has a lot to do with the dichotomy in this. Like, But I did wanna just um, add on to that since I did kind of like a half review last time in my video. So the Mancera Tonka Cola, and I got this from Lux SB because they also have full bottles there too. The next one, I have to say Ashley made me do it. Ashley has a small channel on Instagram, ashley.fragrances. Cute girl, great taste. And this is by Giordani di Toscano, and it's Bora Bora. They also have Bianca Latte. I think Gabby's been raving about that. That is on my wish list over at Lucky Scent but I think it's back ordered. It might be in stock now when I just checked, but that was back ordered. So I went with Bora Bora. I kept hearing this is an amazing tropical. I did my tropical video. Several of you said I needed to try this. I had already bought it. Um, so my opinion on this, yes, very Bora Bora tropical, but this is more tropical, lush, dense, 
floral forest kind of a thing. Like this is really lush florals, more so than the fruits that I get. Um, I do get a lot of like a lang, lang like really like tropical floors, tiara or a lang, lang tiara. I get more tiara in here. Um, kind of like a mixed floral and does smell very dense and fresh, like floral bush around you. Not that I get green, but um, I do wish there were more fruits in here. Let's see, I wore this today too. It is beautiful, soft, creamy. There's a creaminess to it. Um, I do want to try the latte. I think I might like that one better. I don't dislike this one, but I do like heavier florals. I, I might actually layer this with some more tropical fruits. I feel like I wish there were more coconut in here to make it a little bit more what I'm looking for, but it is a beautiful kind of a floral fragrance. Okay, next up, I have the brand new launch Ganymede Extrait. They have this over at Twisted Lily where I have a 10% code. Um, Ganymede Extrait. Now, I do have a decant of the original Ganymede, which I really liked. I know that was really popular. I did hear this was deeper, richer, spicier. So my take, this is potent, like potent. I did like half a spray on my hand yesterday. I was good for the day. So it starts out really smoky. You've got to like a smoky fragrance. And then the smoke kind of backs away, wears down. You do have this like, it's a smoky wood, almost like um, an embering lug kind of like wood feeling. It does dry down to something um, still strong like the dry down here is much more demure but it is still potent i'm smelling like a really sexy man i'm not gonna lie wearing this baby it is definitely far more masculine than the original ganymede something about it i don't see oak moss listed that they, they don't always give you all the notes but to me there was like this base of oak moss that gave it this really masculine kind of feel at the dry down like a really good looking gentleman. The first Ganymede smelled like, to me, like a well-to-do construct, like a guy that owns a big construction company because you got this like metallic kind of feel from instruments like, um, and, and like a leather suede, like a really nice leather suede, like he had a fancy unused belt, tool belt or something. Like there was something very um, masculine in a way of like a man does these things and like smells a guy should have on him. This one goes even more masculine, more masculine with the opening smokiness. And then again, in the dry down, it's really masculine. Now it is strong. I, I mean, I've heard other people say it. Yes. Like think, um, mega mar strong. Like this is potent. This is really potent. It was hours later filling my car half a squirt on my hand like it's this this little 50 ml baby's all you're gonna be need it's it's gonna take you far long and far so um i like this i think there's a very distinct masculine feel and when you're somewhere where you kind of want to be noticed by your fragrance this definitely has a power player kind of feel to it if you ask me um and it's kind of nice that that dry down is still really projecting, even though it's in the dry down in a more demure kind of fragrance. So I kind of dig it. Getting me extra. All right, let me do this. This is also, I've been loving this house. I've been talking about them. Cupid Parfums. I never even showed you the box because I think their boxes are like so super cool. I only show you when I think they're cool. Um, so I kind of like it. So Cupid Parfums. You know I love the 1623. Um, yeah, I think that's the only one I have from them. I am working on it. Like they've told me they're working on the distributor and shop in the USA. It's gonna get easier, I promise. Hopefully really soon. Same with Salas. So we're working on that. I'm not sure I tried this one yet. I just received this. And this collection is all 2023. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's like rich, rich, deep, fruity, but like with a richness underneath, like the base comes out. 
Oh, I definitely get like a strong woodiness. Let me, ooh. Fruits, like lots of fruits in here. Like at first whiff, I'm like, ooh, this is along the lines of like your almost herba pura like where it's like fruity. But then really quickly, I got all these other notes in there, like more dense and spicy and rich kind of a thing going on. Wow, this is really well blended. Um, let me take a look here. Okay, so saffron, cinnamon, cardamom makes sense because I get this like all these like spices coming in. Rose, iris, cedar, sandalwood. Okay, I would have thought like a denser wood. Whipped cream in a vanilla musk tonka bean base. This is one I'm really looking forward to wearing. I, I think this is one I need to watch the development and watch the stages on it. Oh, I really like this one though. Really interesting. Almost feels a little bit more like I need a cloudy day for this because of those spices in here. And it's been so nice out, thank goodness. I like this. Okay, so this is Sonia. Another one. Now, you know, Salas is brand new. I told you, I like gave you a sneak peek. I told you I'd tell you about this one. Um, also, they will have the, I was confused, but like some have the glass art, some don't. They're fixing all that. Um, these are the refill bottles. So if you don't want to spend the money on the glass art, you can buy the refill bottle, kind of like what House of Siage had did with their limited edition bottles. This one is Bianco Eterno. I love this one. This is, um, to me, like a vanilla suede. Like there's no leather and no suede in here, but there's saffron. And saffron is not a sweet note. A lot of people think saffron is what is sweet in Baccarat Rouge. That's actually ethyl maltol, which is what is that sweet note. And a lot of places don't like to list it. Saffron is like an earthy, um, dry, earthy kind of spice. Buy it in the stores. It's in the spice aisle. And that like dry earthiness gives it this suede kind of feel. This is sexy. It's to me like a vanilla amber suede. There's definitely a suede like feel to it more so than powdery. I know for granted it says powdery, but I don't get powdery. But I'm going to wear this a full day. I really have only worn it like on my hand kind of a thing, testing it. And I can't help but be constantly washing my hands and things like that. But I'm really liking this one. This and the Amore Tor Torrid are like my two favorites from that house right now. I'm gonna try a third one. But um, this is a popular one, Bianco Eterna. And again, trying to work that out of where you can buy it and I'll figure that out for you. But I really like this one. Kind of feel like, again, maybe a cooler day. This is a very warm fragrance, again, that I think will be better in cooler weather, overcast weather, or evening kind of a thing because it's so warm feeling. Okay, then with my order at Lucky Scent, I got their samples of a bunch of other new fragrances I wanted to try. Took my notes here because I tried them a while ago. Okay, the Giuseppe Accident a la the Need Berry right? We all are curious about this exclusive to Lucky Scent. So I did try that. And to me, it is like it opens like strawberry cake. It is amazing. Like strawberry cake mix, not frosting, cake. Then it dries and it gets this like creamy, nutty kind of feel. And then it turns into almost like a vanilla cookie, like this fresh baked vanilla cookie. It kind of changes quite a bit in that first 30 minutes or so. More so, like, I can't, like, express it, but more cookie than, like, a cake or cupcake. It goes from that cake mix kind of feel to, like, this more, a lot more cooked edge, like a cookie. Like a strawberry cookie, which I've never heard of before. But it smells like a strawberry cookie. Yeah, like, the strawberry has this nutty kind of feel to it. This is really good. for This is definitely gourmand with that baked cookie kind of aspect. You do get the fruit in there, too, which makes it a little different. Definitely gourmand lovers are going to love this one. I thought it was fantastic. And then what else did I get from them? Oh, also Cocolette, which is at Fragopedia House. Uh, the Cocolette Joel, which is really popular. And I had kind of had my eyes on Cookie Crumble. I did ask for that bottle. Hopefully you get that soon. 
those notes just kind of appealed to me more than Joel. Joel is chocolate. What I write? Yeah, just chocolate gourmand. Like it's literally your chocolate. Chocolate, period. Like I just got chocolate. I'm personally not big on wearing chocolate. Like I don't want to smell like a chocolate bar. It's just kind of my thing. I'm really funny. I like like cocoa powder. I like like that dusting. But when it comes to just smelling like chocolate, but gourmand lovers again are going to love, love, love Joel. It's a hit for a reason. This one is so up Gabby's aisle. Like this one, I would send to Gabby and be like, girl, you got to try this one. This one has your name written all over it. It's, it's, it's fresh baked chocolate cake. Like this chocolate cake is in the oven and all you smell is permeating chocolate. Yeah, this is amazing. And it, it pretty much stays linear for me. Like chocolate cake. Delicious, delicious gourmand lovers are gonna love this one. Now, cookie crumble is not like what you'd expect. Oh, cookie crunch. Sorry, I'm saying cookie crumble, but it's cookie crunch. Oh, this is old. This is 2016. How, how funny. Okay. Now, I get like a minty opening. What did I write? fresh minty with a lot of lemon, fresh lemon, but almost like basil maybe. And then the lemon comes out. So like, it's only five seconds that I get that basil-y minty kind of thing, like fresh, fresh in the garden, really fresh smelling. And then the lemon comes out really vibrant. And then I get a lemon dessert, fresh lemon fruit, not the juice, the actual like fruit in your hand. And then yeah, like lemon, like a lemon cake, but like a lemon bar. This smells like a lemon bar, which I really like lemon bars. And let me see, the notes say meringue, whipped cream, biscuit, lemon, sugar, vanilla. Okay, that's basically the recipe for a lemon bar. That is literally what I get. Oh, it's just this one does it for me. Like I can do lemon dessert, not chocolate. Like I'm okay smelling like that because there's something, excuse me, like refreshing about it. Sorry, I think I just need some more wine. Okay, there's something like refreshing lemon dessert, light, airy, like sometimes the chocolate is just dense for me and it gives me an appetite and that's why I don't like them. It's kind of like me saying I don't like bacon. I love bacon. I hate what bacon does to me. So I lie and I say ba I don't like bacon. I love bacon. That's how I am about the chocolate fragrances. I love them, but they make me hungry and they make me eat, so I don't like wearing them because it's like driving past McDonald's where you smell the french fries. What do you think that makes you do? It makes you crave french fries and wanna eat french fries and that's why they pump the smell out there. So when I wear chocolate fragrances, I feel like I'm doing that to myself and I'm inducing that hunger and I don't, you know, I try to keep in shape, so I don't wanna do that. But fruits don't do that to me. That's why I, I lean to fruity gourmands. Yeah, I really like this one. This one I asked for the bottle because I love it. Um, this one was another new release, I think, by Hilda Mango on the Rocks. I'm really looking for mango and fig fragrances. So that one I liked. I didn't love. I wouldn't get a bottle of this. This is a fresh mango, like a fresh green mango. Like you can smell the skin. You're smelling the actual skin of a green mango. It's a very fresh, translucent, crisp, clean kind of fragrance. It has like, you wrote out so I write my notes here. It has like a garden smell. Yes, it has this like clean green, like green, like you're smelling the garden. Like you're, you can smell the, the mango tree, which I actually quite like here. I'm very funny with green fragrances. I don't always like them, but this has a greenness the way a lot of fig fragrances do. Um, almost like Philosophicus, how do you say it, by Diptyque? Almost like that with the greenness in there where you're getting like that green leaf and tree in there. It's really nice. I just 
have other fake fragrances that I like, but I don't know. This one might grow on me. I think if I sprayed it all over me, I might like it more versus these little dabbers where you're just smelling a strip. I don't know. It's a mood thing too. I'm really liking it today. I'm really liking it today. Um, yeah, but it's it's fresh, clean. It does, it it's really resembles a lot of fig fragrances out there, the way it's translucent, the fresh skin of the fruit, along with the leaves and the tree and the green aspects. Kind of like it. Okay, what else did I get? Born to stand out. I really wanted to try that brand. They were in Milan and I did not get a chance to check them out. Sometimes you were looking for a brand and they made it like a mouse maze with walls blocking you. And then you'd get distracted by another brand and you'd never make it there. And that happened to me a lot. But Born to Stand Out, Indecent Cherry, which just seems so obvious, right? So I'm going to, I tried that one. It's literally like Lost Cherry. Like it's literally like, yeah, I, I feel like, you know, especially after doing like a video of 20 cherries, this just falls in there nicely, but it's another one. I didn't feel like it stood out in any way. Yeah, like it opens with that really powerful, almost synthetic smelling cherry, like a really intense cherry, like a lot of cherry flavored items have that intense kind of thing to it. And then it wanes a little bit and it relaxes that, that sharp cherry smell relaxes, but it was really super similar to Lush Cherry, the way that opens up really intense, sharp cherry and then relaxes and wanes away. Although I have to tell you a couple days, it's still a little bit on the strip. That's promising. There might be a better longevity on this, but the smell itself, the scent itself really reminded me of Lost Cherry. It wasn't more unique in any way. Then I got from Music to Parfum, which is also kind of new. I think this is the one that had an old collection, but they now 2023 have this great collection. So Concerto. So this has a, a music, um, kind of theme to it, much like Suspiro has a music, musical kind of thing to the names of them. So Concerto reminded me immediately of Herba Pura Gold, the Selfridges exclusive. So knowing it's a sister house to Suspiro, which I think is why I really like this house, um, I wanted to compare it to Herba Pura Gold. So because I'm noticing their new releases are better quality. I hate to say it because I do love Zerjoff. And I don't, you know, I love Zerjoff. I, they have a place in my heart that's really near and deep. So, but I do find that they've come out with just more refined kind of smells than this Velvet collection, which literally was Suspiro's collection. They changed the caps and created the V collection and moved them into it when they broke up because it looks like Zerjoff got the rights to these all. They were getting it from Suspiro, but Suspiro came out with a new collection and they definitely upped the ante. So they're both this like fleshy stone fruit. The Music to Parfum Concerto is more fruity. It's a more vibrant, alive, kind of peaches and apricots and nectarines and like fleshy stone, orangey stone fruits. The Herba Pure Gold um, doesn't feel as vibrant. I feel like I need to put it on skin. This is so much more intense, the Concerto. Way more intense. Um, but again, like those stone fruits in a vanilla musk base I love my Zerjoffs. I really do. But I think I like this better. I'm so sorry, Zerjoff. I'm really sorry. You know I love you. You know I love you. I, I think this is better. This is more intense, a little bit cleaner feeling. I always liked Herba Gold over Herba Pura because it smelled a little smoother to me than the Herba Pura. Um, and I now like Herba Pura Magic better than that. But I, I kind of like dig this. This is Selfridges exclusive too, so it was really hard to get and there was no way you were getting a sale on this. So I think this is better priced too. The Music to Parfum, digging this. I'm definitely loving Concerto. If you're into those fruity fragrances, you're gonna love that one. Promise you. That is, that is good. I wanna wear that today. Yeah, yeah, weird. 
and I barely get anything from the Zerjop in comparison. Really weird. And I have so much, so much, so much to share with you. Okay, then I just got this today. Haven't even opened it yet. Um, from Lucky Scent, Goldfield and Banks, Ingenious Ginger. This is actually my first Goldfield and Banks bottle. I've always just had decants and never bought a bottle. This is kind of cute. I was like, oh, it's a square box. And, oh, like cute. The 50 ml is like a square. Okay. Okay, let's check her out. It's supposed to be ginger, done really well with some solar florals. Ooh, good sprayer. Ooh. Did you see that? Okay. Oh, okay. All right, so I definitely get like a mandarin, like a soft citrus, along with the zing of ginger. Okay. I feel like I should use the skin I've been saving because this... Yeah, I get a lot of citrus, like smooth, soft, creamy citrus, not sharp. It's definitely smoothed out. I definitely get a floral with this delicate ginger. There was like a harshness in the beginning there. Something from the ginger was a little harsh, but wow, this is really good. Okay, this is better than I expected. I was a little worried because I'm funny with ginger. I was definitely a little worried, but wow. This gets better and better as it dries. Okay, it's definitely got a sweetness, like there's some vanilla coming through or something. It's almost like, um, it's a vanilla ginger and it's creamy. It's not like crystallized ginger or raw ginger. Ginger can be sharp. This is definitely like a creamy, sweet kind of ginger and has like the florals thinning it out a little bit. Giving it like a tropical feel, like something that, I mean, I've never experienced. This is crazy. Oh, this is fun. This is the kind of thing that's going to get you compliments because it's unique. Like unique and pretty and different and alluring. Wow. I can't wait to wear this one. Okay. I was worried. Now I'm super excited. Like I'm super excited about this. Okay. Yeah, it smells better on skin. The weirdness is on, this, on the paper, not my skin. Yeah, I don't like it on paper. Way better on skin, way better. What's that weird, weird, heavy thing on paper? Let's just put that away because that's just not good. This is beautiful on skin. I'm so glad I sprayed skin. Okay, yeah, like sweet creamed ginger. Um, gosh, like you made whipped cream with ginger, sweetened ginger tea or something. Like there's definitely this creaminess or like creamy white florals in here. Oh, I like this. Okay, I'm gonna wear this and tell you more about it, like the longevity and whatnot. Holy cow, I really like that, okay. That is good. I'm gonna wrap this up here. I have to do a part two because there's just so many and I think that's most of the new releases. I do have a couple more, but I'm gonna wrap that up. I don't like to go too long. And yeah, some really good new releases coming out. Like, holy smokes, really loving everything. And let me know some that you're loving and stay tuned for the part two also. I just have so much that I can't wait to share with you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.